Who is that? Convoy should be here soon. We'll attack on my signal. Understood, sir. If we time this right, we can catch them all unawares. It is feared that armed hostilities between French and British forces... <laughs> And the woman just walks through it. Not the a very good obstacle. Indian. Attack the convoy. Need to pick up a weapon. Pardon, sirs. Seems we've had ourselves an unhappy little accident. Get it sorted, and quickly. Of course, my lord. At once. Okay, let's do it. Out of your life! Reload the thing. Ah, fine. This bizarre view can outrun me. Charles, you and Williams serve as vanguard. Let no man reach us. What about me? You and John will follow from a distance and keep watch over us. I'll signal you when I have need of your services. Who is that? We're here to help you, along with those held inside Southgate Fort. Free me. That's the Not plan. until we're inside the gate. I can't chance an inspection of the gate going wrong. I'll see you safe. You have my word. He has no reason to trust you or believe you or anything. Do you know anything of Silas' operation? How many men we might expect? The nature of their defenses? The French and Indian War. This is one of many wars in the long-standing British versus French rivalry. Well, you might you might call it rivalry. I'd call it the Battle of Wits with an unarmed country. This particular war being over who would come out as the biggest colonial power. Of course, it wasn't enough that the British and French fight one another. They convinced a number of North American indigenous nations to join the conflict as well. That's the name, French and Indian War. The war started in the colonies, but it spread to Europe, where it was known as the Seven Years' War. Before you pointed out, yes, I know the dates add up to more than seven years. The conflict started in 1754, and the war wasn't officially declared until 1756. But well done for spotting it, you, ma you math athletes. I bet you were popular at school. George Washington has the honor of starting the actual fighting, under orders, of course. He was sent to create a fort in disputed territory. While he was doing that, he crossed paths with the French patrol. Washington attacked, the French retaliated, the British followed up by sending two full regiments of regulars to the fight, and so it began. The British fought a losing battle until about 1758, when they got a new prime minister, who decided funding the war I felt was a priority, possibly because of the whole French thing. Maybe he ate a bad baguette once. With the other support, the British, along with their indigenous allies and the colonial militia, began to gain ground slowly but surely. Eventually, the French were driven out of almost all of their territory north of the Caribbean, something we in Britain celebrate with a special holiday called Every Day All Year. So the British won, but they were left with huge war debts. They tried to pay these off with taxes levied from the colonists they defended from the French, who would have had them all eating onions and saying, Oui, sir, no, sir, before you knew it. The colonists objected, leading up to a series of protests, which were part of the unrest that led to the American Revolution. Talk about gratitude. Stuff I love. You must be rather important to him if you were given your own escort. Sir, we've enemies ahead. 
Shall I engage them? No. Let Jonathan and Thomas take care of it. As you wish. I wish you'd trust us. Though I suppose it's only natural for you to be wary. So be it. I'm gonna have the resolution of it. And I bet I'm in a lot. Because it doesn't seem to matter. Dog was a problem. He's flying. He's flying. <laughs> Is that supposed to be a French flag? Uh -huh. On your guard, meat, man. Hey? Come here. Of course. You take a look? <laughs> Only say the word, and I'll cut them down. If they start to be suspicious. Me and you. Who's your officer? Engage the enemy! And they made them disappear! All clear! Keep going. Oh, she has her hands tied. Not just as she's sitting comfortably. Evening, gentlemen. State your business. Delivery for Silas. Go on then. See, I'm freeing you just as I said I would. Now, if you'll allow me to explain. Let her go. But she'll give us away. No, she won't. What's the plan? Free the captives and avoid detection. What of Silas? He's mine. He dies. I know when you're ready to strike. When kill General from Stas Assassin from a corner spot. Boston Neck. In the 18th century, the only land route into Boston was across a narrow strip of land called the Boston Neck. One often talks about the heart of Africa, of course, or the bosom of Europe, but how wonderful the Boston gets a neck. Fortifications were built across the neck to protect the city from land attack, I suppose a bit like a heavy necklace or a handsome neck brace. When the siege of Boston began in 1775, Governor Gage ordered that the fortifications be expanded and strengthened. They became known as the Gage Lines. Starting in 19th century, land was added to Boston Neck, widening it to make room for the city to grow and presumably to ease traffic on and off islands since Boston was no longer in danger of attack from the countryside and maybe it wanted to eat more. I read this.
affairs to watch. Who have we got there? What are you talking about? Prisoners. Who are they? Prisoners? Stop slouching. There are no prisoners. Big pardon? I said stop slouching. They do not exist. Oh, and if I did exist, I see. We would not. My apologies. Um, I will. Oh, it's a bit of a dodger. He's somewhat queensy. Who's the scab then? Oh, he looks a bit of a dodger. Well, the hell did he go? Oh, there he is. Okay, so he goes and does this round. Then he comes back. And I take the corner spot. Then I snap his neck. Give me some powder, thank you. So, just like that. Too far away. Come on. Okay, I'll find someone else. What the hell is that guy doing? All sorts of buggy. What's this fella doing? What's with the fancy on this? That fella bird's watching. I assume it's quiet here those days. Show me the round. Such a shame. The colonies are meant to be an opportunity, not another war front. Can I take out? Or summer for that matter. Heat and wet. They're all in pairs.
find and kill the general. Oops. Yeah, got it, got it. Three star checkpoints. I wanted to move him. Like no when you're ready to strike. Oh, from the start, come on. Greetings! How fares the watch? Who are you? Thomas Smith, newly recruited. Arrived from London just last week, in fact. And you're to patrol with us? So said Silas. Mm. I assume it's all rather straightforward. Watch for disturbances, ensure order is maintained. Mm. Merchandise? You don't know, you don't need to. Do as you've been told and stay out of our way. Of course. Okay, I guess that works. I must say, the weather in Boston is much fairer than back home. Wait until winter and see if you still feel the same. Or summer for that matter. Was a patrol guy over there. Go, keep moving, keep moving. Get out of here, quite like. Well, he walks over. He walks back. And I can grab him from there and throw him in the water. Grab the body, grab the body, grab the body. Uh. Okay. Should probably kill that guy.
No, there's two of them. What are you doing? Can I get to the other side? Spot. Bye bye. Stop shouting. Quiet was all I asked. Instead, I'm awakened not ten minutes later by this cacophonous madness. I expect an explanation, and it had best be good. How? How did this happen? My precious merchandise set free? It's unacceptable! Rest assured, I'll have the heads of those responsible. But first, first we clean up this mess. Get it together, man. Seal the port. Kill any who try to escape. I don't care if they be one of us or one of them. To approach the gate is to be made a corpse. Am I understood? I'm willing to make a corpse without approaching the gate. Push them back. <laughs> What? He wasn't even facing me. Checkpoint. Push them back. Grab him. Grab him. Grab him. and shoot something. Where did you receive your training? Did you receive any training? Ow. Do 
Drop it, this thing. Drop it. Where did that firing line come from? And why didn't I see the general? Push them back! Wait, wasn't there any signal for it? Give me the weapon! Many of them. I'll deal with this, sir. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Grab someone, grab someone! Grab it, grab it! Ah. Oh. 
This game is so buggy. Hatham Kenway. You don't know me, but I believe the two of you are well acquainted. I made a promise to you, Cyrus. One I intend to keep. You deserve that. Gonna fuck something. <laughs> what happens now? We wait. And not for very long, I suspect. You can use a DNA tracker to attend this mission. I'm not going to because this was buggy and I hate it. Oh, you're full sync. Keep going. And Connor is born. It's been several weeks now since we freed the Mohawk prisoners from captivity. I had hoped their leader might make contact, but there's been only silence. My still men silence. grow restless. They want to know what comes next. And I do not have an answer. Lee alone remains active, pursuing leads, however slight. He stalks the city streets and scouts the bordering woods, hopeful that he might make contact with one of those we saved. There was a woman there that night. It was she who helped the others to safety. If we can find her, I believe I'll have my answers. So, I watch and wait, hopeful that my true mission might finally begin. Lost in seventeen fifty five. Green Dragon in. It's kind of chilly. Also, grab a horse. Let's see if we can find some more pages. Okay. Let's just run away from them. What do I need to do to get speeches? Old meeting house. The bells in this church rang out in the hours leading up to the Boston Massacre. As crowds were gathering to taunt the soldiers in front of the state house. In Boston at the time, church bells were rung when there was a fire, so people ran into the streets to see what was happening. That swelled the crowd, making tensions between the people and the British soldiers that much worse. It ended, of course, with the soldier firing into the crowd, killing five people. 
And this, con this concludes our lesson on how charge panels could be used in site riots in colonial America. Boston has a neck. You feeling all right? Can you climb a building at your age? No? Well, yeah, feeling all right. Old State House. This building housed the Massachusetts government from 1713 to 1798. Before the revolution, that would have meant the governor, his advisors, and the elected assembly. Of course, by elected, I mean elected by white people, male property owners, since they were the only people that had the right to vote. The assembly also had rather limited power. The governor had a veto over anything they decided, and on occasion dissolved the assembly when they didn't vote his way. That's the governor of a dictator. In 1767, the gallery was installed above the meeting floor here so the general public could watch the legislator at work. This was a very novel idea at the time. Of course, some of the representatives probably regretted the decision later when crowds used the area to heckle those who voted pro British. Then again, perhaps that was the point all along. The government moved out of the building to a bigger space in 1798 and the old building was turned over to merchants, including a wine cellar and a wig maker making it the colonial equivalent of a shopping mall, though one that mainly dealt in wine and wigs. Lime! Okay, where do I step off? That way? Nice horse, he came to see me! That's so nice of you! But I merely just wanted to synchronize this. nice and snowy. It's actually kind of beautiful. Nice horsey. Didn't I see a letter somewhere? Yeah, there it is. What does it mean? What does it mean? Deliver the letters in Boston. What? Excuse me. Thank you. Okay. Stand. Okay. Look, I'm hiding. How do I get out of here? Seriously, how do I get out of here?
Thank you. Okay, not really sure what I'm doing here, but fine. Thank you. I earned money. For the best rates in transatlantic shipping, contact 12 brokers. Let us worry about the details while you get down to business. Can I pet the cow? I can pet the cow! Can I pet the goat? I can pet the goat. Can I pet the chicken? I can feed the chicken. That's very much awesomeness. What is going on over here? Oh, Benjamin. Also, merchant. What do you need, my friend? My friend? The Germans have invaded? Um, okay. Damage, speed, and combo. French rapier. That's expensive. Lock. I'll get cartridge out of those dead bodies. Sorry, Ben. Only got one of your pages. All the news you need. Today's Boston Weekly Advertiser. I think this is how I do it. I've got trouble here. Help! Okay, what does that mean? Vigilantes. Ooh. Logbook, map. X. What? Okay. I guess I'm gonna go big. Frontier. Shops unlocked. I don't know anything about the frontier yet, except Boston. But this is Boston. I haven't even scratched the surface. Come on, Nick. Contraption. I don't want to know how this story unfolds. I'm going to get that page. The 
connectivity here leaves much to be desired. Seriously. Not traversing isn't fun anymore. Istanbul was amazing. This is just rubbish. Oh, maybe I'd had enough. I didn't say. Come on, are they still following me? Grenadiers. Grenadiers were originally the soldiers in charge of throwing grenades. Hence the name. They were chosen for being tall, muscular, and fearless. Not only did they need the strength to throw grenades far enough to actually injure the enemy, they had to be brave or stupid enough to stay in the front lines of battle to do it. Grenadiers were also called upon to be fast, effective assault troops, helping with things like storming bre beaches, breaches, doing sieges, you know, all the standard easy jobs that are likely to get you killed. By the mid-18th century, grenades had fallen out of favor, but grenadiers were still regarded as elite regiments, called on to guard the right flank of their battalion, and still to do all the other dangerous work they've gotten a reputation for. An interesting note on the hats, they were made high and narrow so that not to get in the way while you were throwing grenades, which is a good feature to have. Eventually, the mitre hat became part of the standard dress uniform in numerous armies. Thus, possibly, possible grenadiers just really dig the idea of looking like the Pope. He still is mute on that point. Had <laughs> enough? You don't get to loot him, I get to loot him. The pigs in the streets. Okay, let's do what we came here to do. South Meeting House. This building hosts some of the key events in the American Revolution mostly by accident. It just happened to be one of the largest buildings in Boston, so when meetings at Fennel Hall overflowed, everyone moved to the old South Meeting House to continue. This meant the biggest, angriest, most rebellious crowds ended up here. After the Boston Massacre, the people met here to the demand that the governor remove British troops from the city, which he did. Thousands showed up here for meetings leading up to the Boston Tea Party. On the night of the tea party itself, this was where Samuel Adams delivered the line This meeting can do nothing more to save the country, giving the go ahead to seize the boats and dump the tea. Is anything a bigger slap in the face to Brits than dumping tea? 
No. Well, I bought them just slapping us in the face, but that's a secret I wish I hadn't told you. Of course, during the British siege in 1776, this church met the same fate as other rebel outposts. It was ransacked. The pews and pulpits were torn out and used as firewood, and the interior was filled with dirt and used as a stable and riding school. There was even a bar on the second level. I guess the troops thought that would really stick it to the Puritans. The only thing worse would have been a karaoke night. Puritans hate karaoke. Can I ride the pig? Amateur sailor or fishing enthusiast, waters like watercraft have the skiff for you. Old the corner bookstore. It's an apothecary shop at the moment, but in a few decades this building will become will be home to Tick Northern Fields, the leading American publisher of their day. It might sound a bit dull, but this building will be at the center of American literature and thinking. Authors like Henry Wordsworth, Longfellow, Nathaniel Hawthorne, Harriet, Beecher, Stowe, even Charles Dickens will all meet here. Of course, given the state of American education, it's possible you don't know who any of these people are. I could have said Minty Clithero and Pee Pee Boom Boom and you'd still have looked impressed. Maybe about the first one, not the last one. What game are you playing? I'm playing Assassin's Creed 3 and it's buggy as hell! Charles, any luck finding a mystery woman? Word is she's been stirring up trouble just outside the city in a town called Lexington. Well, then that's where we begin our search. I'll meet you there. There's a fast travel point over there. How does it work exactly? Really? Underground? Yes? What? the lamp. Can I get down though? Is that a thing? Hmm. 
I'm guessing that's not working. Okay. This is fast travel, it's a weird way of doing it. What the hell am I doing? Um, crouch? Or something? There is no crouch button, right? Precision mode. So that's a dead end for now. Also, what with all the crates? Ooh, ooh, what, what? If that's the exit, then what's over here? Nothing. <laughs> 